Bruce Wayne, he's a moody billionaire, right? How many of us are moody billionaires? I don't know, I'm not, right? right. There's like six of them, right? Superman, he's like the guy who works out at the gym the whole time and it's really tough. There are some people like that, I ain't that guy. But, but Spider-Man, I could be that guy. And I think everyone can be Spider-Man in that way because he's, he's like you and me. I'm really excited about this film and it looks a lot more, it looks a lot bigger than the first film. How is that reflected in the music? The music is like bigger than the first film. That's how it's reflected. I think in the first film, we were so concentrated on Miles's world. On this one, there's so many new universes. We've got Gwen's universe. We got like uh, Indian Spider-Man. We got 2099's world. We got punks. Yeah. We got some other worlds I'm not gonna talk about. And it's like a huge expansion, like both visually and sonically. Like musically, this has been probably the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. Really? Yeah. What would you say was your biggest challenge of, uh, of uh, matching music to any of those Spider-Men, Spider-People? I think the, the biggest challenge on this film has been to create something that feels coherent, like you're building like a musical language across these whole universes that can all interact with each other. So you've got to write a theme for like Gwen that can work with a theme for 2099, that can work with Jessica Drew, that can work with punk, and everything can like intertwine with each other. And <laughs> I really wanted to bring back like themes to superhero movies. I kind of feel there was a period where superhero movies didn't have these thematic moments. Everything was kind of disappearing and I've been trying to bring them back. And I, I'm hoping with this movie, we really, like, you really feel the themes for Miles, for the Spider-Man, for the events in the film. And you can get really nerdy on this score. Everything connects. Every noise, every sound, every motif connects in some ways to the whole universe. So what are you most excited for people to hear in Across the Spider-Man? Um, there's a bunch of things. Uh, I'm very excited about the ending, which I don't want to talk about. Okay. But the ending is like where I get to like crank everything up to 11, which is like really satisfying. Um, I love, like for me, I've really enjoyed doing 2099's world because I've got to like really embrace quite abrasive electronics, which I haven't done for a long time. Um, I love the fact we've record scratched the goose, which is like my filmic creative high point of getting a record scratch goose into a movie. Um, there's some crazy opera in, in a sequence at the beginning of the Guggenheim. And I love the fact we've put like basically a crazy opera line in the middle of this massive fight. It's incredible. Now uh, there's a, a famous phrase that Stan Lee says in the first movie, um, anyone can wear the mask. What does that mean to you? I think the thing about Spider-Man as a character is like actually Stan Lee said that like he didn't realize this at the time but like with Spider-Man you don't see anything else you don't see his hands he can be anyone you, you know you, you can't see his face so I think the best thing about Spider-Man is that anyone can be Spider-Man and I think this film shows the breadth of spider people and I think there's a no like Spider-Man is the most related, relatable superhero right Bruce Wayne he's a moody billionaire right how many of us are moody billionaires? I don't know, I'm not, right? right? There's like six of them, right? Superman, he's like the guy who works out at the gym the whole time and it's really tough. There are some people like that, I ain't that guy. But, but Spider-Man, I could be that guy. And I think everyone can be Spider-Man in that way because he's, he's like you and me. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, look, thank you so much for your time. I can't wait to hear and see this movie. So thank you so much. No I appreciate you. Love your website. Thank you.